So my name's Justin Whitty. I'm the exhibition coordinator for the Department of Exhibition and Performance Spaces. And we're here in one of our spaces, the Hoken Gallery, at the Framed Exhibition. This show is a show of Columbia College comic book artists, as well as highlighting the work of Columbia College set designers. So this is one of the set designs. It was based on a comic by the Columbia student Madeline Murky. The comic is kind of a fantastic uh, story of two characters on this kind of this island, this brightly colored island, uh, interacting, talking, eating a sandwich. <laughs> and then the set designers focused in on one element of the island, which was this really bright pink tree floating on like this hill of yellow grass. So the set designers recreated that. Here again, this is the mural by uh, Joyce Rice. And as you can see to the left of it, it's actually just an excerpt from a one-page comic she did chronicling her experience in her last winter that she was living in her hometown of Grand, Michigan. Joyce uh, creates a number of uh, kind of zine-sized comics called Bird Wizards that she sells around town and also sells in Shop Columbia. Um, and it kind of, again, is an autobiographical chronicling of her every day and her memories. We have work um, by Jeremy Smith, who goes by On Smith. He is uh, a pretty accomplished, actually, uh, comic artist already, is in the fact that he's had his work published. Um, but he's currently a student here at Columbia. And we have three pieces by him. One is um, a narrative called Dispossession by Tornado which is just basically the story of an older couple hunkering down during a storm and what they kind of experience when they come out from their shelter to see their whole farm kind of decimated. The other two pieces are more um, less specifically narrative. One is designed for the inside covers of the magazine Hotwire um, on the top here. And the other is 99 cartoon characters, where Jeremy drew 99 kind of famous recognizable cartoon characters in the style of those cartoon artists. Nick also created these uh, free um, takeaways, which are kind of in the style of classic uh, kids' activities that you'd find in newspapers or magazines. And finally, he did uh, submitted some original ink work uh, that is a parody of It's a Wonderful Life. And it focuses on um, the character Leslie Morton, who, if you remember, was the one who was at the dance uh, with Mary Hatch when George Bailey kind of interrupted and stole her away. <laughs>